All right. Battlefield is pretty crowded. It's bad for cavalry, which is bad news for us as we have a mandatory eight units of cavalry. Uh, with that in mind, we are maxing out on infantry. No additional cavalry. No artillery. I'm terrible with artillery. I tend to end up masking my own guns, so screw it. Whatever. We'll have to just put up with being shot at by his artillery. Uh, so for infantry, we have a variety. Six of your standard pike and shot. Two veteran pike and shot. And two average pike and shot, but short of muskets. And then raw pike and shot, short of muskets. These are absolutely horrible. Uh, but they are what we have. Uh, more useful, two units of separately deployed musketeers, so no pike and the extra cohesion that comes with that. But if they're not in open terrain, they should do fine. Veteran musketeers, pretty deadly. Then we have dragoons and commanded shot to do things like, you know, seize hedgerows or rush through forests or that sort of thing. So, first deployment. Uh, we have forest here. So, anchoring on that wing with some raw pike and shot behind the woods. Musketeers in it. We've got our pike and shot and our veteran musketeers and pike and shot. So stretch out this way with the musketeers making their way into these hedgerows, dragoons nearby as well. Command and shot to scout things out, hold forest, be annoying. Uh, in terms of cavalry, the terrain is really not that great. But we've got our veterans on the right where there's potential for open ground. Uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult for them. All right, let's see that forest comp and deployment. Curious to see if he's going to take an offensive or a defensive approach. Should be able to work with either one, to be honest. Okay, it looks like he too is going to ignore the woods and push out into the open. That is all right by me. Let's move this pike and shot here so that we can conceal this movement. He will suspect that it's happening, but he won't know, and that's the main thing. These raw pike and shot can shift back here to open ground, but still behind the forest. You shift over. All right. Cavalry to the flank. Okay, we'll leave it there for now. Next turn. Interesting. Static there. Okay, that's a lot of infantry, isn't it? 5, 10, 15, 18. Ugh. To my 13. Shit. Okay, that means we're going to have to be a little bit more active with the cavalry we do have. Cause some kind of distraction here. Okay, move, turn, move, turn. Good. Hmm. 
Hmm. Two over there. Alright, maybe I made a mistake with you. You should turn back around. Stretch out the line. Okay, something like that. Next turn. I don't think he realizes how few men I have over here. Might as well make sure they don't come back. Okay, then what? So maybe what we can do is like bring these raw units out to make it look like I have more men in here and then when the time is right swing these units in. Maybe I get ready to do that. I need to be more aggressive to be honest to fight here before any of this matters theoretically next turn Glovin has congratulated me on lifting first blood Probably can't break them, yeah. It's alright. I'll have to peel off. That surprisingly didn't disrupt. Some raw units coming out, that's good if we can lure them into range of our musketeers. Okay, peel off a bit, turn, fire. It's okay if they get shot up, really. 
This is not open, so we won't get our full impact mounted here, unfortunately. But it is what it is. We hold firm. So do they. Okay, so wait. And. Hmm. Okay, then what? Yeah, prepare to pop out of the forest and pretend we've got way more men than that. Be ready to move, but don't move yet. Next turn. Evade, it's fine. Is that open? No. Hmm. Could attempt a disruption. Why not? Fire. Nope. Fine. You know what? That's one way to do it. So these being veteran get their pistol impact, whereas the average doesn't, and we don't get our impact in non-open, so that's a good spot for them. Okay. Peel off, they're just gonna break anyway. Make our presence known over there, shift over, occupy the woods, and start being irritating. Get in there. Get out of the way. Okay. Don't actually love how this is going. What if we... No. You could. Hmm. Just wait there. See what happens. Next turn. Something they would break. Oh, 
I'd have to pull them back, yeah. Good. If you go there and face off, then we go in there. All right. All back. These veteran cavaliers, what are they going to do? Okay, this is looking a bit difficult, to say the least. Good. I think we pretty much have to rely on that kind of close action now, given the large numbers arriving to greet us. Better wait, probably wait. They've disrupted, so we need to move to pressure them with cavalry. And yeah, draw fire with cavalry, it's all they can do. Don't love it, we just have too many cavalry units. Next turn. Oh. That's unfortunate.
Well, why don't you keep that up? Move aside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set up a drop. I'll hold firm. Do that. That's not really going great. Hmm. See if we can lure them in and then pop out and fire. Ah, not loving it. Not loving it. Next turn. Need them to move closer. Well, that's awkward. I was hoping to catch him out. Damn. Okay. Uh, right. Keep going. Yeah, you're annoying. Piss off. Finish the job. Sure. Can't really charge here unless. Basically, we can't. Interesting. Well, it's time to move out.
All right, eat some lead. Got in your face. You. Start getting ready to charge those like guns. Okay. Uh, fire. Fall back. Okay, that's what we got. Next turn, Govan is feeling as not confident as I am. Oh, that's good to hear. I guess I'm up 21. What's going on? Did something happen? No. Eh, I think he still has plenty of space to recover this. Yeah, that's a problem. There we go. That's what we needed. Do you? Perfect. done. Can't charge though. Okay. Prepare to keep moving. You can't do much here charge the frag excellent keep firing looking casualties okay uh, you prepare to charge those like guns screw it get in Why don't we get threatening motions there? Keep being annoying. Hopefully get past and then it won't matter that we're zoned in here. We might even pursue into them if the frag unit breaks, and then we could charge. Next turn. Ah, they didn't break, that's a shame.
Kind of to be expected. Shit, what's that gonna do? Nothing. Locked out again. Yeah, it's not a surprise at all. Okay, horse is on the move. He saw the danger of the pursuit there. That said, I don't think this actually... I'll, I'll get into it when it starts, but I don't think it's like detected there. Okay, can't charge here because of the priority charge targeting system. Shit, that puts everything on a timer. So we gotta go. We just gotta go. No time. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Pile in and try to steady this out. It's looking real bad. Uh, next up, yep, push on. No choice. Ugh. They fired, right? So if you go here then you can charge and at least potentially force a check. So, it is a flank, we just don't have the movement to get there, but we will. So if we move you here, do some padding shenanigans, you can prepare to push in. So, okay, so the reason this is a flank, despite the hedges here, is that when you're attacking from one square into another, the collision is considered to take place at the edge of the two squares. This is a roadway with hedges lining it in the center of the square, right? So the edge of the square is actually like here. So we're charging from, uh, it's not open terrain, but, you know, unhedged terrain into the back of this unit. Now, this unit is protected from all directions because of the hedgerow along the edge of the square. Uh, we might as well get in, because otherwise we're just going to get shot up as we attempt to move. This is horrible, and we just need to wait and hope this break causes a rupture in their cohesion. Uh, let's keep our distance. Okay, and these two uh, here. Unpleasant. It is what it is. Okay, we'll attempt to cover the flank of this unit, and then he can move in Zonas while he sets up the flank, and then we try to do some shenanigans with the commanded shot, maybe? Go like here so we can move here and then turn and zone there with the adjacency. It's all getting very confusing. Next turn. Oh shit. That's a problem. That's also a problem. Go 
I'll break them and then follow through. Oh, that might not be a flank attack. Based on, yeah, the hedge might protect actually. Bounce them? Yeah, we have impact horse. They don't. Should be able to evade that, and then we'll just keep harassing them. Okay, first things first, let's charge here, then auto drop, which frags them, so then let's break them. All right, the Rob Hike and Shot maintain cohesion, but they're gonna turn around to face during the melee and then we're gonna mess them up. Good, we have combat strength modifier gonna work there. And here, do something about that, please. No. And charge. Ah, oh, they held steady, but he'll have to move them up if he wants to prevent an auto drop there. Charge. They're raw, so hopefully we'll overcome them. Okay, light them up. Good. Neutralizes that threat. Charge. Well, fine. Go for it. They hold. Lucky. All right, so hopefully we can just start to roll all this up soon before things get really bad on the left. Next turn. Hmm. Oh, that's too bad. Ooh. Okay. Good. Setting up a roll up there, so we really have to get it on. Fade, it's fine. Right side.
Yeah, skip that. The raw will take him down anyway. Not a flank? Yeah, they're protected by the hedge. That's okay. Get these veterans into contact. They can fall back, huh? Light them up then. Here, move along. That's fine. Veteran musketeers also light them up. Charge the commanded shot. Get combat strength modifier. It's a small unit. Okay. And charge. They are raw garbage, all right. Cover your flank as long as you can. Fire. Hmm. Hopefully we can roll this up and win before it gets any worse on the left. Next turn, go up and sing a pike and shot unit fell back for a long time. Once he's referred to something that happened during my turn, it can be hard to keep track even though it can be a few days in between here and there. Nice break by his already there. Oh, that unit, that's what he's referring to. Got it. Nice, he tried to set up the drop, but that might deny him. Good. So it's a, I guess, kind of a bug that can happen. The unit will fall back in place if its fallback tile was clear at the start of the phase. Not really a big deal. Great, light them up. For auto break, uh, not quite. Could again go for auto break. We need 22 casualties, not have a disperse. Ah, right. They had the protection angle, I guess. The obstacle. Interesting. I would have thought that would not be considered an obstacle, but so it goes. Threaten the drop. Okay, push on. Sure. Shut them off. Ah, they didn't think they could evade, so they didn't. Keep harassing them. Right, let's match.
So, a fairly close run thing. Uh, that said, ultimate deciding factor, I think, was the sheer number of points of units he had on his right compared to how few I had overall. So two cavalry units and two commanded shot against three cavalry units and commanded shot are pretty cheap. A couple of musketeers and some raw trash against four standard pike and shot. It's not a massive overwhelming difference, but it's enough that his forces were a little bit weaker elsewhere. And given the closeness of the match, a little bit could make a big difference. Uh, notably, he hit his cavalry in non-open terrain. Good call. Uh, impact mounted requires open terrain. Did have a bit of a uh, thing he didn't know about with the hedgerows there, where the edge of the combat is where it takes place. So this tile was not protected from a flank from this tile. Well, we learned the hard way. So a good game to go in, as always. I'm sure, we'll meet again. Till next time.